What's going on guys? Here I have the brand new Asus ROG Alley and today we're gonna to be tearing it down, seeing if we can upgrade the SSD as well as checking out all the other components. So first thing we have is the device here and super easy to take it apart. We simply just need a Phillips head screwdriver. Go ahead and flip it to its back. And we're gonna first start off by removing six screws on the back. And the center bottom screw here will not release from the back plate. We simply leave it intact. And now we can go ahead and peel off the back plate. Here's a quick look at the back plate here. We have the macro buttons right here, as well as the trigger buttons. Those are removed simply by removing some Phillips screws. Now here is a close up look at the internals. The center connector is our battery, so I will go ahead and disconnect that first. Once the battery connection is disconnected, I'm gonna remove this ribbon cable that connects the left and right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove this black plastic protector. It's simply held in by double-sided tape. You can see there are some tamper resistant stickers for this screw and there was one on this screw that I have already removed. We're gonna go ahead and take the battery out, remove these two screws here as well as these two screws on the side. Now this battery should lift right out. And on the sides of the battery, we do have some bumpers just to hold it into place. And before we go any further, I do wanna address this is the solid state right here. It's a standard M.2 solid state. So you should be able to replace this with a higher capacity. This model has 512 gigabytes. Let's go ahead and take that out. So here is a close up of that M.2 drive. Now I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up all the connections on the left and right boards. Starting off with these small connectors on the side. These go to the light up joysticks. And you do wanna be very gentle and careful with these brown and green wires. Make sure you're gripping onto the connector and not the wires when you remove them. And lastly, this connector will connect to the main board. And we can go ahead and screw, unscrew those two left and right boards. Each one of them has four screws. And just with this gentle push, we can go ahead and remove, with a gentle push, we can go ahead and remove that right board that connects to the joystick. The green and brown wires look like they are connected to a vibration sensor. Let's go ahead and repeat the process on the left side. And again, with a gentle push, We can go ahead and take out that left board. And the joystick didn't want to come off with this one. So we simply just push it through and it pushes right onto that connector. So these are actually pretty easy to replace. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the heat sink and fan combo. We're gonna remove two Phillips screws on either side of the fan. And we'll undo the heat sink in a diagonal fashion. That way it reduces the stress. Once the four screws around the heat sink are removed, we can slowly pull up on the fan assembly. Being gentle, there are two fan connectors located right here. 
pull up on this double-sided adhesive and set it aside. These fan connectors are extremely fragile. Do not pull on the wires. Instead, we've got to grip the connectors and undo the connectors. And once those cables are disconnected, we can remove the fan. And here is a close-up look at the fan. And the heat sink in the center with thermal paste. Now we have access to the main board. I'm gonna go ahead and remove a few of the connectors. This bottom one here is for the speakers. The white and black connector here is for the Wi-Fi antenna. The connector on the left bottom here is for the screen. And don't forget one more connector located at the top here. That goes for the touch ID and power button. Now to remove the main board from the body, we're gonna remove three screws here, two screws at the bottom, an additional screw here, and as well as three screws here. Now we can tilt the main board up pulling up the left side first and wiggling the main board out of the housing. Here is a close up look at the main board. You can see the AMD processor in the center. Flipping it around to the back side. And these are the buttons for the D-pads. And here we have access to the D-pad as well as all the buttons, which are very easy to replace. And that's pretty much a look at the teardown for the Asus ROG Alley. I'm gonna go ahead and tear it down even further. But for those of you who came here to see the main board, that's pretty much it. If you guys did find the video helpful, please leave me a big thumbs up. Leave, I mean, comments down below, anything you're interested in seeing on this Asus ROG Alley. But without further ado, let's go ahead and tear it down further. So the left and right, we have the speakers, which are held in by three screws. Once those screws are removed, we can peel up and that removes the speakers and be very gentle with these cables because they are very thin. The right and left light up joysticks LEDs can be removed with three Phillips screws. And here are the rings for the LED joysticks. The fingerprint sensor is held in with two Phillips screws. And all we have left here is the display, which is held in by double-sided adhesive. So I'm not gonna go ahead and remove that. Again, if you guys found the video helpful, please leave me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for tech videos, and leave any comments down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.